Today we're going to do some operations on functions given a graph. So our first graph, uh, graph is a uh, function f of x, and we're going to be finding f of negative 2. And our other function is g of x. We'll call that our red function. And we're going to be finding g of 1, and we're going to be doing a subtraction. So when you find f of negative 2, we simply find uh, the value uh, where, uh, where x is equal to negative 2 of the function and evaluate the y value. So looking at the black function f of x, where it's equal to negative 2 is right there. I'll draw a little uh, point there. That's f of negative 2. And notice that the y value of f of negative 2 is 0. So f of negative 2 is equal to 0. When we look at g of 1, that's the red function. And that's where uh, x is 1. If you notice where x is 1, y is 1. And so we simply say uh, g of 1 is 1. So it becomes 0 minus 1. And you know that 0 minus 1 is negative 1. And that is our answer. In our second example, we're going to find f circle g of 1. And we might remember that f circle g of 1 really means f of g of 1. Keeping the color coding, where f, the function f is black and uh, the uh, g function is red. If we evaluate g of 1, which we actually did in the previous example, we notice that g of 1... Uh, when x is 1, g is also 1. The value of y is 1. So, therefore, this becomes f of 1. And now we have to evaluate f of 1. Well, where x is equal to 1, the f function, the black function, is right there at 3. So therefore, f of 1 is equal to 3. And that is our answer. In our next problem, we are going to find g circle f of negative 2. So going with what we've done before, that means g of f of negative 2. And now we have to evaluate f of negative 2. Well, f of negative 2, if we go over on our board, on our graph, at ne when x is negative 2, y is 0. We've done that one already. And so this becomes g of 0. And g of 0, we simply look when uh, x is 0, what is the value of g? And you might notice that it's right there at the origin. So when x is 0, y is 0. So g of 0 becomes 0. And that is our answer. And a final problem, we're going to find f divided by g of 0. And once again, what that means is f of 0 divided by g of 0. So now we simply have to find f of 0. We'll make that g of 0 red to be consistent with our color coding. And f of 0, that's when x is equal to 0. And when x is equal to 0 on the, the black function, f of x, y is 2. So we know we have 2 for f of 0. And for g of 0, when x is 0, we've done this before, y is 0 right there on our red function, or g of x. And therefore, we put 0. And we know that we cannot have a 0 in the denominator. And so therefore, this is undefined.
And that is our answer. And now it's your turn. So use the graph to the right, which is, has the graphs of f of x and g of x, to evaluate each of these expressions. If you have any problems, just review the screencast. Good luck, and see you again next time.